Yo, it's YouTube, it's your boy Jacob, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'm be showing y'all boys how TNT XD makes its beats for Raw Wave. Let's get right into it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Money Excel right here, and I'm gonna go find a loop for me to use. Go, I'll put his link in the description. Go run his channel up. He's tough. All right. So now that I got the loop in here, I'm gonna play it out for y'all, and we will get right into the drums. All right, so that's the loop. As y'all can hear, it is insane. I love Money XO's loops. Go hit him up for some loops or go to the YouTube page for some loops. It's tough. So first thing I do with all my loops is I go right here and I make sure that they are actually on the grid because sometimes, I don't know why, but it shifts them over whenever you render them out. And then I'm gonna mess around with the pitch. I like the pitch where it's at right now. I'm gonna mess around with it, see if I want it somewhere else though. Yeah, this loop is so tough. I'm gonna add a rim on it because I just, I really hit a rim on this. All right, so I got this producer grind TNT XD spin Zeta weight, and I'm going to mess around with the pitch. How I usually do this is I come up here and I just mess around in these octaves and try to hear it. Now that I have the key, I'm going to mess around and find a pattern. I'm really trying to leave a lot of space on here. So you see what I did with the 808 and I'm gonna show y'all how I did it. First thing I did was I pitched it up a lot to try to figure out the octave, like the key really. And in there, I pitched down this 
one because I really felt like it fit better. I don't like to usually have the keys on C. I like to have it on C sharp, D sharp. I like it a lot like that, but on, cause I feel like C is kind of too basic, but I felt that it sounded better pitched down. And so this is what I did. And so with this 808, I really wanted to keep it super simple. I wanted to see a lot of space and you can see how much space I have on this. That's a lot of space. That's one, two, three, four, five notes and four bars that's a lot of space and so with this it's a lot of different like i don't want to keep it on the same um like the same pitch for every 808 so what i did was i pitched it up pitched it down you know all that stuff and i really also wanted to keep it in line with the bass notes which i don't know the bass notes obviously but i'm just messing around and seeing if i can find them so this is what it sounds like All right, so that's what it sounds like. You can just hear how much space is in this uh, 808 pattern. And the only thing I did was you can see all of this is the same. Like I just copied this over and switched up the ending, which is usually what I like to do. And with this 808, I had it like this. But you can hear it, it cuts off right here. That's not it. So what I did was I just chopped it up more and kind of messed with the velocity a little bit down here. And all it is is trial and error. And that's basically it. It's super, it's really simple, this pattern. Just mess around till you hear something that you like and then keep it in there. And so now we go to the hi-hat. And I'm just gonna show you how I really do hi-hats. If I don't wanna have it as two-step, I don't know yet. So you hear what I did with that hi-hat. It's literally the most simple hi-hat I think I've ever done in my entire life. It's basically just a two-step with a break in between it and the mess with the velocities. And I felt like that's what this needed. I didn't want to do anything crazy. So now I'm gonna go to the snare. to open I have. So the only thing I did is the open hi-hats and it's literally just following the 808 pattern and the last thing i'm gonna do is i might add a kick i'm just gonna see if it sounds good
All right, so thank you for watching this video. I know I didn't do much explaining, but it's really self-explanatory with a lot of things that I'm doing. It's very simple, bouncy drums for Rod Wave, and there's a lot of space on the beat. And thank you for watching this video so far. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, everything like that. And comment, comment down below what you want me to do next. Until next time, peace.